Hey everybody, it's Mark from Ripple Trading. So Apple just released Final Cut Pro 10.4.7 and it includes several enhancements to grading and delivering HDR. HDR material is becoming mainstream with increased household penetration of HDR capable TVs and content providers like Amazon, Netflix, YouTube, and Apple all expanding their HDR offerings. And while you've been able to edit and grade and deliver in HDR in Final Cut Pro for some time now, 10.4.7 brings some new additional features. So let's check them out. In 10.4.6, if you were working in an HDR project, in an HDR library, there wasn't any tone mapping of HDR material in the viewer. Luma values above the limit of your display were simply clipped. That's why you could go to Preferences, to the Playback tab, and choose Show HDR as Raw Values, so that you could at least see all brightness values in the viewer if you weren't connected to an HDR monitor. And if you did have a connected HDR monitor, Show HDR as Raw Values would allow you to see all pixel values from making selections for secondary color corrections in the viewer. Catalina now integrates HDR tone mapping into the operating system. So now when running 10.4.7 on Catalina with an HDR project in an HDR library, Final Cut will by default tone map your HDR values in the viewer to the capability of your display. This tone mapping is optional and can be turned off under the view pop-up menu. By the way, the selection you make here affects the event viewer as well. Again, this tone mapping capability is built into the Catalina operating system. In fact, if you're running 10.4.7 on Mojave, you'll see raw values instead of tone mapping in the same view pop-up menu. If you're connected to an external monitor, you can tone map your HDR output to that display. To do this, go to Preferences, to the Playback tab, select the AV output here, I don't have anything connected, and check Show HDR as Tone Mapped. Any display other than the Pro Display XDR that is directly connected over HDMI or Thunderbolt will be seen as an SDR display, and your HDR material will be tone mapped to the capability of that display. Doing this allows you to see a, quote, reasonable picture for editing purposes, but shouldn't be used for grading in HDR. To properly grade in HDR, with 10.4.6, you needed an HDR-capable monitor connected via an AJA IO 4K Plus capture and playback device. Now in 10.4.7, if you have the Pro Display XDR, you can connect it via Thunderbolt, set your AV output in Final Cut's preferences, and use it as an HDR reference monitor for grading HDR material. We'll have more to say about the options for setting up your Pro Display XDR for HDR monitoring and grading in a future video. In addition, when grading in HDR, the Enhanced Color Masking tool with HSL Range Isolation allows you to make precise selections of luminance ranges for HDR corrections. For example, let's use an HSL type color mask select all the pixels in the shot, select View Masks, make sure it's set to Color, disable Hue and Saturation, and set the luminance range to target just the brightest pixels in this image. Now, if I turn off View Mask and adjust Overall Exposure, Notice how I'm only affecting the brightest values of the image. So I can use this tool to dial in very bright areas to a specific knit target. If you want to get notified about new content we produce about Final Cut Pro and related applications, you know what to do. RippleTraining.com is where you can go to get in-depth tutorials and training on Final Cut Pro, Motion, DaVinci Resolve, and other applications, as well as plugins for Final Cut Pro. Again, thank you very much for watching.